Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Gonna build a mountain. I hope I will. Gonna build a mountain. Gonna build it high. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I only know I'm gonna try. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Planet Zoo Creation. So, today we're gonna be doing the uh, Common Wombat Habitat build. Um, I'm actually really excited to see this little fella. I don't know much, uh, a lot, I don't know actually a lot about them. So let's get into the general information, then we're gonna start the Habitat build. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna see a montage of the Common Wombat running around in its habitat and whatever. Anyway. I am ready. Okay. Common Wombat or Wombatus Ursinus. Least concern. Population in the wild is unknown, but for the moment, for this animal, there is no concern. The Common Wombat or Wombatus Ursinus, also known as the coarse haired or bare nosed combat, uh, Wombat, is a marsupial found in the scrub and woodlands of southeastern Australia and Tasmania. Tasmania. It has a squat round build uh, with short muscular legs and a blunt snout. The body is covered in cor uh, coarse grey brown fur. Common wombats measure between 90 centimeters and 115 centimeters in length from nose to rump and weigh 22 kilos to 39 uh, kilograms. Uh, there are no obvious external differences between males and females. Common wombats are not endangered and are considered a species of least concern, with their population currently remaining at a stable level. In some areas, they are considered pets as they inflict damage to farms. Oh, pets, not, not pets, <laughs> pets, but pests. Pests as they inflict damage to farms. All right, the natural habitat. Continent Oceania and Australia. Uh, biomes, temperate and grassland. For one minimum habitat requirement from one adult, you have 225 square meters. Um, they do not need a climbing requirement. They do not need water requirement and they do not need deep water requirement. They, have a te they need a temperature from a requirement from minus four degrees to 38 degrees Celsius. They need a grade 2 fence that's higher than 1 meter. Species data. Social needs. The common wombat is a solitary um, and has no social needs. It is common for multiple wombats to share a burrow system. However, they tend to avoid each other and can be aggressive regarding access to feeding grounds. Reproduction. A female common wombat in Ostrus um, will deposit feces and urine near her territory to attract a male. When a male has located her, they will engage in a chase behavior. She will bite his hindquarters, then run away. Hindquarters and then run away. And he will chase and bite her in her turn. Uh, bite her in turn. Before rolling her onto her side or back and mating with her. This chase mate sequence may repeat several times. 27 to 31 days after mating, the female will give birth to, birth to a tiny bean-sized infant called a joey, which will climb up her fur and into her pouch. The common wom uh, the, the wombat joey will remain in its mother's pouch and feed over milk until it's about 5 months old. From this point on, it will begin eating solid food and spending time outside of the pouch. The joey is fully weaned, uh, went Weaned at 20 months old, at which point it leaves its mother who will soon after be in ostrus, ostrus again. Juvenile wombats reach sexual maturity at 2 years old. Social. Group size 1 to 2, excluding juveniles, so we are going to be doing 2. We're going to have 1 male and 1 female in there. So basically in the uh, natural habitat requirement we're going to go 2 female, uh, two adults and we're going to need a level... Uh, um, a land requirement of 270 square meters. Anyway, male backer group size 1, female backer group size 1, dominance none, mating system polygonous, uh, mate, um, 
Matura uh, maturation rules solidary elf mature offspring become outsiders relation with humans confident can guest enter habitat no averages size for both a male and a female the, the size averages are 102 centimeters long both have a life expectancy of around an average of 21 years old for both female and male and the weight is also the same for females and males about 26 kilograms and if you want to read this life cycle go ahead research items or a research status fun fact one the common wombat can achieve and maintain a speed of 40 kilometers for up to 90 seconds fun fact two the wombat's closest living relatable is the koala fun fact three the skin of the common wombat is extremely tough. It often uses its hindquarters to block burrow entrances from predators as it can withstand strong bites. Fun fact 4. The word wombat comes from the Daruk language which was spoken by the aboriginal Daruk people native to the Sydney basin. Fun fact 5. Wombats... Uh, wombats Species are cube shaped and are used to mark territories or attract mates. And then interspecies enrichment. This uh, species does not benefit from sparing, uh, sharing other uh, space with other species. Anyway, so now that we have all the information about the wombat um, done, let's have a look at what we need to have over here. Um, We're just gonna do glass because it needs to be a resistance grade of two and needs to be um, higher than one meter, and that's definitely the case. All right, let's see that this will definitely be enough. I think I actually can already just do it over here a little bit I think that will already be enough because it's not that much of a a big species is it um, alright let's get the male and the female in here um, animal trading Let's get the filters. There we go. 5.5 years old, the youngest. And then we're going to take a female, which is 4.6 years old. There we go. So we have Lena and Warren. Once again, only two. Now let's speed this up a little bit. Let's actually get rid of these trees here because I don't know why, but they're a little bit in my way. Okay, there we go. Okay, they are actually bigger than I thought. I, I literally didn't remember. So, space is definitely more than enough. It's actually way too big still. So, let's actually change that a little bit. Um. Okay. Because lately I've been so used to either exhibit animals or big animals. So yeah. Making small habitats hasn't been in my um, budget. Anyway, this is still way too big for these animals. But uh, let's, let's actually make it a little smaller. Not too much. Just a little. Just a little. I do not want to have so much more space than I actually need it. So let's get rid of all of this. Okay, let's have a look. How much space is this? That is that is about the, the great. Yeah, that's that's great. Um, only what I don't like is that it's actually like this. So let's actually edit the barrier. And um, oh no no no, that's not what I meant. Yeah, I know that they're out. Don't worry about that. 
And then let's connect it like this. And then let's just... Oh, it's not looking good, is it? Okay. No. Oh my god, it's not working out the way I want to. I'm struggling, guys. I'm struggling big time here. Alright. Alright, that's much better. They did not escape at all. Anyway. Zoo has been closed for a long time. Yep, we know. Alright. Let's have a look at the space. That is perfect. Alright. Now, for the terrain, I do want them to have like a little, little bot. But really not too much here. Just in the corner, a little puddle of calm water. Oh, that's, that's too big. That's way too big. Oh, it's not going the way I want it to. Yeah, that's that's about what we want. Yeah, 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 that's definitely what we want. Okay, the terrain needs to be downed a little bit here. Oh no. Oh, I forgot something. There we go. That they don't start mating. Like, we don't do not want that at the moment. Oh god, that's not what I want. Alright, that's good enough. Yeah, 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 that's good enough. Alright, come here, come on Wombat, let's have a look. Okay, so they need a hard shelter, which is definitely possible. So we're gonna put filters, species, common Wombat, there we go. Animal burrow, exactly. We're gonna put an animal burrow right there. Um... And then we're also gonna put a lock shelter maybe, but like I want... Oh, that's too big. I really want a small one here. Um, yeah, but no. Yeah, like that. Okay, and we're gonna put it right over there. Is that placed very nicely? Yeah. Alright, now the next thing that we're gonna do is look at their terrain because they have way too much long grass as you can see so let's start getting a little bit rid of this long grass and then we can adjust it i definitely want to have like a sandy place for them um with soil and sand most of the time they definitely need a little bit less rocky position which is obviously Perfect because they don't need a lot of rock indeed. Let's spend some fine sand. The noise that they make is really strange in my opinion as well. No, oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to put any rock because they don't like rock at all. Okay, on rock we're good, now they need a little bit of shorter grass, uh, longer grass, just like that, that's looking perfect, I think, yeah, that's looking pretty good, that's decent, a little bit of long grass here, which does not look good at the moment, I know, but that's because 
We're still busy with it. Anyway, they have an animal burrow right here, which is actually gonna go down. Um, enter camera view, and then you can actually see in the animal burrow, which they are not in at the moment, but how cool is this feature? And we haven't had it on any animal, because we didn't have any burrowing animals yet on the channel, and this is actually a feature... Oh, is he gonna go in? No way. Oh my god. No. No. He just decides to take a poop next to his animal burrow. But it's already cleaned up. But <laughs> that's actually pretty funny. Alright, we're gonna go over to the coverage then. Uh, just one thing that I need to do before I forget is actually put a medium bedding on here. There we go. Alright, then. Next, we're gonna go to the nature and actually select plants from the continents um, I legit forgot I n know which continent it was but um, Oceania and biomes temperate and grassland temperate and grassland okay temperate and grassland continent Oceania um, biome grassland and temperate there we go and now let's just start placing things. They don't like a lot of coverage, I see. Which is fine. But let's let's just make it their little home. But indeed they do not like a lot of coverage, so... This is gonna be hard to decorate in the way that I want this to be. But I'm gonna do my best, I'm gonna do my best. Uh, I know we're already over too much coverage, but I will delete some of these um, trees over here because they do take up a lot of space and yeah since they don't like a lot of space that is not really ideal for what i want to do because once you place a tree it's already way too much all right i guess we won't have a lot of um coverage then Damn it, that's already a mob. Oh no. Okay, I was not expecting them to not like this coverage at all, so. <laughs> well, they, 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 to be honest, they only need a burrow. And he, he's actually going in a burrow. Look, there he is! <laughs> oh, that's actually so cute. Oh, that's class. That's actually class. That's honestly class. That's honestly really class that the burrow is in the place here. Anyway, this is gonna be it on the animals um, coverage. I, I wanted to make it a little bit better. But since they don't like it that much, then I don't think that I can do much about it. If they don't like a lot of coverage, why should I spend on putting much more coverage here? They do have a lot of shade. There's some plans to it. I mean, it's a basic build, but we can make it better with making it some hills and not make the ground even. Because then, I mean, what would it be then, you know? Alright, that's looking pretty good. And just by doing this, you create a lot of better environment than to just basically put nothing of care into it so let's just put some fine soil and some um, sand on here and then we'll, we'll be good to go so now they need a little bit more long grass which we can put here there we go okay I tried my best here guys but this is literally the coverage that they want and I like to put some more trees and stuff but it is what it is right now so let's go over to the enrichment then 
and then this will already be done it's really it depends on the animal okay they do not need a lot of feeding um, things so let's put a barrel here and then a melon feeder we can put it right over there then a toys a cardboard box a gift box right over here herb scent maker a rubber duck why not put it in the water rubbing pad uh, let's place it this way rubbing pad again in the corner maybe if we can put it somewhere in the corner nope it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to put it in the corner there there we go and a ball you can put the ball over there small pumpkin of course twilight pack animal the problem is we don't have a lot of space so for these toys <laughs> um they do like a lot of balls um and this ice ball let's just put the ice ball over there all right there we go that's the build for the common wombat i know it does not look great like it's not the best build but ladies and gentlemen because they do not need a lot of coverage and they like to borrow a lot i think this build definitely makes it look good enough and definitely is special enough for me to actually enjoy it um and i know i could invest in this a uh, way more and make it look especially great but you know i just take one one take videos and make it a really quick build have fun and see the animals alive into a short video i can also make this 10 hours for each animal but what would that be anyways thanks so much for watching guys and roll the montage just checking if i done if i've done everything i think i've done pretty good here except for long grass that they need a little bit more there we go anyway thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you all in the next episode
so everybody this is the end of the video I hope you li guys liked the common wombat uh, video and the little montage at the end this animal is really hard to make a montage on because the time that they spent in their burrow and doing the same routine is pretty much uh, the same and long periods of time so hey an interesting animal but a pretty funny animal if you if you uh, if you ask me it makes weird screeching noises noises but in general i like to do this animal and um i will see you guys in another episode and i can give you away one thing we're gonna be in another continent but be prepared for the same climate thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one